Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Grand Austria Hotel Let's Waltz, the great big new expansion for Grand Austria Hotel. And this is it with everything turned on. The game comes with five different modules of varying sizes and make various changes to the game. I've turned them all on. To just say, you know, we'll make the game a bit more uh, complex and perhaps harder, but I want to show you all of the new stuff. I have already done a playthrough of the original base game with a fan-made solo mode that was way back in the beginning of the channel. And I'm also, later today actually, when you see this, there will be a, a new solo playthrough with the brand new solo rules that came out when this new edition did. Uh, so there were deluxe components, there was an expansion on Kickstarter, this is it. This is all of the stuff. Before I get started, there is a handheld camera and an overhead camera. You can switch between those in the description. There is a Klingon subtitle channel that'll let you know of any mistakes I might have made. Thanks, Steve. And there is a Patreon account. And if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs and make more of them, then it's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips and any support there would be massively appreciated. Thank you so much, patrons. You made this happen. So I want to start by just quickly going over what the new modules are. I will explain everything that I'm doing as I go along. So even if you haven't seen any of that Grand Austria Hotel stuff before, hopefully you'll still get a good idea about what is going on in the game. Uh, so the new modules, there is the ballroom module. So kind of the, the module that gives it its name. Instead of sending guests to rooms, which we usually do, that's all that you can do in the original game. You can now send them to a ballroom instead. If you can pay the cost that is on the board, it's some kind of champagne, which now you can gain from the first two resource gathering actions, as well as getting food or drink. You can also get champagne. We choose three random ballrooms and they will give you different benefits. There is a four player side as well. that has got some more rows for some of these things. But basically, if you just send a guest over here, once they're satisfied with a champagne, they're in here for scoring. Uh, but if you send them to the top row, it costs you more champagne, but you're going to get a bonus in this case going along the Emperor track a bit. The third ballroom special because it's got this balcony next to it. It basically means the top row in this ballroom is infinite. As many uh, dancers can go in there as possible. The numbers on the mean at the end of that round. So when the Emperor appears at the end of three, five and seven, the ballrooms will score as well, and they all score in their own individual ways. So if you want some points, you'd better get in there first. And you know, people will look strangely on you if you don't come to the ball at all. And so if you aren't present in the ballroom when it's scored, you will lose five points, as well as gaining points if you are in there for their different criteria. Module two is celebrities. See, there's a new board there with some celebrities on it and their special powers. There are also three fewer white dice on the main action board, they've been replaced with the red, yellow, and blue dice. When you take a die, the white dice act as usual. If you take a white die, then nothing changes. But if you take one of the colored dice, then you need to pay an amount of money equal to the dice that are now left there after your dice is taken away. But you also get to take that celebrity tile that's gonna give you a special bonus for the rest of the round and some points. At the end of the round, celebrities that are still there become worth more and more points as well. So they become more attractive, even if you don't particularly want their abilities. Module three is hotel entrances. So there are day sides of the boards that I'm not too sure about. They're all different. Uh, that came in the base game. But now uh, you deal a number of hotel entrances equal to the number of players in the game. And you can have an auction for who gets what. In this case, I've just given us some hotel entrances. I'm not familiar enough with the hotel entrances to know what's worth what, but these powers are pretty cool. So I have the Cozy Palace Vienna. When I take a die, I can move it to an adjacent column first to perform a different action or make the action I want to do a bit more powerful. And Marty is the Corrigani San Man. Uh, when he takes his second die, uh, the total that they make determines a bonus that he's going to get in terms of money, in terms of free rooms and points of resources. So I think these are going to make a big difference to the game. Module 4 completely removes the kind of snaking turn order of the original game in which you know, the, the player order would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 in a round in terms of picking the dice. Now it works... Just normally, we go around twice all of the number of players. So in this game, it's going to be Mar me, Marty, me, Marty in the first round. You can come over here 
There are no dice in this section. You take the key. Only one person can do it per round. You get to be start player next round. So you can go here straight away to secure your, to keep your start player. You will get to take any of the first five actions with a strength of one. And you will get any one of the standard four resources. So champagne, that's new in that uh, module one, usually doesn't count unless you get specifically told that you're getting champagne. And finally, module five is just more stuff. One of each extra objective card, a load of new staff cards, one of each new objective tile. And the way that these have come out, there is, so the plus is the more objective, the, the more stuff module. So be there and C there have come from there. Uh, the B tile and the A card have come from the base game. And then the C card and the A tile have both come out from the, the ballroom module. See the, the note there. So there we go. Let's get started. I'll try and remember to put a timestamp for this time. So I am the first player. What I need to do is optionally on my turn, I can grab a customer from the queue. They cost the cost that's underneath them. And I think I would like to take this Baron. Now we can be thinking about the long-term objectives here. So the Emperor is going to visit in round three. If he's happy with you, you get the reward. If he's unhappy, you get the penalty. So that's a place where we can get some champagne. The objectives we want to try and race for, first person gets 15 points on these, uh, have 12 rooms, have three rooms on the top floor, uh, serve four green guests. That's why when Marty had a choice at the start of the game, he chose to start with the only green guest that was available. So I've optionally taken a guest and now I need to choose an action. Do you know what? I think I would like to make the celebrity a bit more expensive for Marty and make this four action amazing. There are so many dice that have been rolled onto this. So my special ability, I'm going to be choosing the four action. So I get to bring a die from an adjacent column into here. And so the red die was just going to cost one if Marty had wanted it. The yellow die still is free, but I would like to come in here and I'm just going to grab a white die because these, these colored dice are great, but they are about to be very, very expensive. Oh, no, actually, I think that's OK to be a bit expensive. I am going to grab this blue die. So it's going to cost me two, three, four, five money to do that. Oh, the, the game does come, by the way, in its upgraded form. It came with these new boards, these lovely money boards, safes, or a nice purse here that you could use. Uh, but I'm just using the standard one for space reasons. A lot of the decisions for uh, maybe a strange layout for all of this is because space, trying to cram it all into the camera. This lets me claim this celebrity, Elizabeth over here. Uh, I score a point straight away, so I'm on the board, first point of the game. And now, whenever I gain money this round, I can put out a room for a one discount. So I'm quite tempted to change what I was going to do to that. So the strength of my action is determined by the number of dice that are there when I take the action. So the strength of the action is one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can boost that by spending a money to seven. It'd be a bit silly based on what I'm going to do, because uh, I think I'm just going to get money. Here, you can split your strength between emperor points and money. So I think I just want money. I am, um, I don't know why I'm picking up a points thing for that. So I'm going to go right up to 10 money. So I'm only one better off than I started with. This goes on my player board here, but now I can prepare a room for free. So when you're preparing a room, it has to be orthogonally adjacent to a room you've already put down. I think let's try go for this really big red group. Yeah, so I get a one discount rooms on the second floor here cost one so it's free to me so i might as well go up there because one's on the bottom would be free anyway we come to marty does he want a person he does but they're all rather expensive that are out here he wants the greens let's try and just race for that serve four of them as soon as he can i think he's gonna go for it he's gonna spend two money to drag this customer into his hotel and some of these, by the way, are from you know, all of the different modules. You can see the, the Music Note ones are from the Ballroom module. And then take an action. You can pass as well, and you aren't forfeiting your action. You are saying that you want to wait until everybody's had a choice, and then we remove a die from the pool and re-roll them all. So you can do that if you are just not happy with what's come out here. Marty is going to choose a four as well. He's going to boost the action. You can do this once per turn by paying a money. One, two, three, four, five is the strength of the action. But if he pays one, the strength can be six. 
and he is going to take this all in emperor points. So what happens in the emperor scoring at the end of the third round, we score based on the position that we're at, then the emperor moves us back a certain number of spaces, well, the, the amount of the round that we're in. So he's going to move us back three spaces, and then you look. Are you in the orange section? You're going to get the reward. Are you in the neutral section? You get nothing. Are you at zero now? Because you can't go past zero. If you're at zero now, you get the penalty. So Marty, effectively, with this one action, has secured the reward of a couple of champagne there, which is going to be good for getting people into the ballroom at the end of round three. He doesn't have to worry about this action for the next two rounds now. Back to me, and I think I wouldn't mind an easier customer. Let's get the general in here. Elizabeth's going to have to go over to the side a bit and make space in the cafe. And I think I'm going to choose action five. I'm going to pop this die back over here. So this is play a staff card, and the discount you get is equal to the strength of the action. So I'm going to have to pay one to take this die. And I'm going to get, the strength was two, so I'm going to get a discount of two on any card I want to put out. I am going to employ the breakfast server here, so he's going to cost me two more money. And what the breakfast server is going to do is, once per round, I can use him, and I might as well do this now, to gain myself a strudel. Whenever you gain resources in Grand Austria Hotel, they can go into your cafe, but you need to spend a free action, so not part of your, your main action, uh, it costs you a money to remove three cubes from your cafe onto customers. So placing them directly onto customers when you earn them is the best way of uh, saving you money. But the resources are on there now. He's eaten the strudel. He's not giving it back. I also get myself Puccini and another point. And uh, whenever I play a staff card, which I just did, I get two points and a champagne. Unfortunately, I only got to take advantage of that once, but that's because I wanted all of that money earlier on. And gain a champagne, which I think is going to go on the Lord Mayor. He wants that. Now, he's the one that I took at the start of the game. His power is great. He lets you trigger the scoring of a ballroom whenever you want, and then it's still going to score normally in Emperor scoring. So my plan is to try and get in one of these ballrooms. This is, if you have the most in each row, seven points per row. This one is if you have the most in the ballroom. 10 points so it would be great to just serve him get him out here make it score 10 extra points boom done but if i can get him in a better position or get a couple of people out into the ballroom by getting some more champagne that would be the best if i can do that first marty now doesn't have much choice he can have this for free because there are no other dice remaining so if he takes this his total will be six he can play a worker for one discount that wouldn't be bad actually yeah he's gonna go for that so he gets a celebrity for free, which isn't too bad, because I have paid a fortune for them. Oh, does he want a customer? Does he want a customer first? He is about to serve someone, so maybe. Oh, another green, yes. Another green. He's down to five money there. He's going to pay to boost the value of the action. So it's strength two now. Now, this action is gain drinks. You can gain wine. You can gain coffee. But you have to have at least as much wine. And you can gain champagne, but you have to have at least as much coffee. So with an action strength of two, he can either get two wine or a wine and a coffee. Can't have any champagne. He's going to choose two wine because that's exactly what the Phantom here wants. And right now he has served a customer. It's not ideal because the Phantom here loses your two points for serving him. So he has to decide, is the Phantom going to go into a room or is he going to go out into the ballroom? I think he's going to go into a room. Yeah, Marty. Yeah, he's going to put him into a yellow room. The green guests can go anywhere. There are no green rooms. They can go in any. Uh, so he's going to go in there. He loses two points. So he's on minus one there, not 74. Uh, and the benefits, he gains a champagne, which could go on his guest there, actually. You're saving up so he could go. No, no, he'll put it on that guest, the partier. Oh, he can t even put two people out. And he gains a guest. He's going to gain the medium here. <gasps> he, can, he can definitely do the four. He doesn't pay because this is, uh, this is free. So he's had all of the rewards from there. He'll keep this to the side to remind himself. Usually it would just go into a discard pile. But to remind himself that he's done one of the four, he'll pop the phantom over to the side. And do you know what else he can do? He can pay a money. He's got a strudel and a wine, which is what he started with for his particular hotel. So the partier is satisfied, had his champagne, his wine and his strudel. And is he going to go into the ballroom? Marty's only got one wine. No, he's going to go into a room, another, another yellow room. 
because if he can fill up a group of rooms, you get a bonus. For blue rooms, it's points. For red rooms, it's money. For yellow rooms, it's emperor track movement. The reward for the partier here is put a dancer out at a two champagne discount. So first of all, where does he want to take him from? Now, these are groups in your practice rooms. We each have different practice rooms. When a practice room is emptied, you get the bonus. The bonus here in this massive one here, four dancers to fill this up, but this is two free rooms. He's going to take from there. So with a two champagne discount, he is he's going emperor points. I'm telling you now, uh, these dancers are going in here. He's getting three emperor points, one, two, three, and he might score the points when the emperor comes here. Oh, and as soon as he took that dice, he should have played a staff member. He hasn't got that much money. Ooh, I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to play this staff member for, for, for two money because of the, the discount that he gets. This lets him once per round pay two emperor points, which he's going to do to put out a staff member at a three discount. So he can put this one out for free, gain four coffee right away, but most of it would need to go in his cafe. There's only one customer that wants one coffee. Or hey, he's only got one money. Yeah, he'll do that. This one can go out for free. Four coffee. One, two, three in the cafe, and one can go to the medium. And that is a pretty huge turn, I think. Oh, and... Oh, this was all planned, of course. When you send someone to the ballroom and you have uh, Matahari, you gain an Emperor point and a real point. So he's back to zero on the points. Oh, and the, the party was worth two points, so he's actually at two. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, that worked out so well for him. So many more combos and things can be made now with all of this stuff turned on. So what happens at the end of the round? We discard our celebrities. They are not in effect anymore. We reveal three new ones. If there were any still out there, then they would uh, be worth more points from one to two. And then if they're still out there for another round, from two to four. So J.R.R. Tolkien here. Uh, whenever you fill a room for any reason, get two extra points this round. Uh, this is uh, when you gain Freud, you can complete a guest's order ignoring any one of the elements. And Gandhi's ability means that when you put out extra rooms this round, they are free. Nobody took the start player action, so the start player just rotates. And that's it, I think. I need to roll the dice. We are going on to round two. Okay, so let's have a look at what's come out. Marty wants wine to put his medium out, but he also wants to put rooms out. Now, Gandhi, that makes the rooms free, he would have to come here and pay two money. He's only got one money. He would, could really do with uh, them being free. Does he want to take a customer? You should if you can. He's going to take this Baroness, because he's already got the coffee. Hopefully he can get the wine. Okay, he can't afford a special die. He's going to do this action. So it's got strength three. He's going to boost it to strength four with his last money, but he's just going to get four wine, because that's two for the medium, two for the Baroness, but he could have paid and got the Baroness out. Just thinking of staff, could have, instead of boosting the action, he could have paid one to get the coffee out onto the Baroness and got some new staff members. But no, he's going to put the medium out. The medium's going to have to go into a room because he's got no champagne and you can't use the champagne reward to go into the ballroom. You have to have the champagne first. So the medium is going to go into his room here. That's a complete group. A size one blue group is worth two points. And the medium is worth a point, so that's three. Puts him to three onto five. And then his reward is two of any resource, but not champagne. Food and drinks, which champagne doesn't count as. It's its own thing. Uh, he also does get a champagne, though. And he will go for... He could just go for two coffee <gasps> and then put us straight out to, into a ballroom. Oh, brilliant. But he's already got the coffee here. Seems a bit wasteful. No, he's going to do it. Two coffee. Boom. He wants to at least be present in the ballroom that you just get 10 points for. Or, this is coming up, he would be the only person in each row of this and get 7 points. Yeah, he's going for the Baroness is taking a champagne into the ballroom. Take another one off his uh, room's bonus. Go on to the bottom row for one champagne. That's 5 points for the Baroness. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then her ability is draw 3 cards... So he's going to have to hope that one of these costs three or less. So he draws three staff cards and he can play one at a three discount. So the male floor housekeeper here that costs five is out of the question. 
Um, for the rest of the game, when you serve a customer that wants four or more things, get four points. Can't have him. Uh, so Marty's going to get one basically for free and then discard the rest. Five points for every completed row of rooms in your hotel at the end, every completed floor. Or this bell is new to the uh, extra cards module of this expansion. Uh, when he has served a blue customer that wanted three or more things, he can flip this over so it's done for the rest of the game and get three strudel and three cakes. Ooh, end game points are tempting, but no, he's going to go for the apprentice. Okay, that was all one great big action. I have not served anyone yet, so I can't take a customer. So what do I want to do? I can discard people, but I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of happy with who I've got. I need cake. Oh, I want more... Is it worth passing this early? I want Tolkien's ability, and then I want to get loads of cake. Serve all of my customers. I'm going to pass. Marty, does he want a customer? He can't pay. So it's going to be these. He's got loads of coffee. If he can get Strudel, he can maybe... Oh, he gets a put out of worker for free. Brilliant. He will take the Duke. He needs, desperately though, to get rooms. He hasn't even got one money. Do you know what? He is going to go for more rooms in his hotel. Total is five, so he gets a strudel and a wine. Strudel can go on the Duke. But he gets to prepare three rooms. He's going for free ones. It might not be the ideal colour he wants, but... He'll take what he can. Really wanted the yellow. Get that finished and get all of the Emperor points, but it's only round two. Now, as for me, I've kind of got free reign over these. I am going to pass again. One die needs to go onto the dustbin, and then all of the others get re-rolled. And I can pass on this selection as well if I want to, uh, but every time you do this, there's going to be one fewer die available. So I want loads of cake, don't I? I could... I want that blue die as well. I can go there, take the blue die. That's strength three, four. The blue die would cost me two. So for strength four, I could get two strudel two cake. I don't want the strudel, but hopefully someone else later will want it. I need to get guests out. Yeah, I'm going to do that because Tolkien would give me two points every time I put a guest in a room. So two strudel, two cake. I'm going to put the cake on the general here. I will put him in a red room. His reward is a wine and three money. Oh, or do I want to put him in a ballroom? Because that's coming up. I've only got one champagne though. No, you can go in a room and I'm just going to have to cross my fingers on that. And I get two points, thanks to Freud. Then, do I want second action? Do I want to take a customer? I think, yes, someone I can serve. The sculptor here. It's going to cost me one to take that customer. Not a problem. We have a debutante that can give me a champagne. <gasps> Didn't come out in time, though. The, the couple here. They are so expensive, but with eight points. Can't be put out as dancers. Have to be put in a room. Get you four Emperor movement and flip a different room as well as theirs. So I can serve him. I've got the wine. I need, I've got the cake to serve him as well. I would really like a champagne. Do I dare? I dare. I'm going to pass. Reroll. Really, I'm, I'm hoping for really unlikely that they're all going to kind of land on one big action that I can get some really big power from. Ooh. What I can do now is, oh, Freud's ability, serve guests with one less thing than they wanted. So I need the yellow die for that. Do I want to make new rooms? No, I think I want to move at least a bit on the Emperor track. I'm going to move you there first. I'm going to take action four. So it costs me two money to grab Freud. One, two. And then I'm going to pay one to bring cubes out of my kitchen. You, and I don't need the cake. Because he can't have one less, because he only wants one thing. But they can have one less thing. Am I going to ignore the Emperor track? Three money is nice. I've only got three right now. But no, I'm going to go. Three Emperor track. And maybe even spend one to go another space. No, I'm just going to hope to move some more spaces afterwards. So, I'm going to put... Some people in some rooms. So the Sculptor is going in... Yeah, I've only got one champagne. It doesn't really matter to me. The sculptor can go out into the ballroom. He's going into this ballroom for my champagne. No reward because I'm on the bottom row there. 
Uh, so he doesn't go into a room. He scores me no points, but Freud means I score two points. The Baron goes into a room. Oh, and uh, his power is get me a free room up to floor two. I'm going for a red room here. His power is any free room, but I've got to build orthogonally still. So I'm going to go for one of these yellows up here. When you cover up these spaces, you get the points. So I get one point right away. He's worth four plus another two thanks to Freud. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the mayor of London can go out into a red room. Gets me four plus two, six points. And his power, score one of the ballroom straight away. I'm going to score this one because I've got majority. That is 10 points to me. Which I might need because Marty's about to get 14 if I'm not in there at the end of round three. Oh, and I can always use my server here to get another strudel should I need one. Why not? So that's the end of that round. We swap back and I will be the first player again. I need my celebrities taking off me. Gandhi now becomes worth two points, and we should see two new celebrities here. So Picasso, whenever you gain champagne, you also gain a point and one of something else, another resource. And Churchill there, whenever you gain emperor points, gain an additional one, just for this round. We're going to round three, and it's time for the dice, I think. I need a guest. My hotel is empty at the moment. I do have a cake. It would cost me one to get the cake out of my pantry, though. I do like red guests. I'm going to go for him. So he's going to cost me one. Maybe I won't serve him right away. Uh, my... Do I want... Now, do I want the Emperor points? I do, but do I want them... I want money as well. Yeah, no special dice. I'm just going for some Emperor points. Three Emperor points. I'm not buying the coloured dice or anything. Just one, two, three Emperor points. Do I want to spend one to increase the strength? No. That'll get me the reward. I'm fine with that. Marty, does he want a guest? Hmm. See, he's, he's low on champagne as well. He's got no money. So these two guests, does he want one? Loads of cake that's harder to get. I don't think so. Marty is going to take first player. He is going to be first player next round. I know that. But that's one of his dice. That's one of his actions this time. But he is going to have... He's going to take action four with strength one, which gets him a money. He's going to grab a strudel as his item. And then he's going to use that money to get the coffee out of here. And he's going to serve the Duke. That's a full group. That's uh, two more points. And he can play any one of these staff cards for free. Whenever he does a five action, he can put someone out in the ballroom for a one champagne discount. Whenever he does a four action... He, instead of choosing between Emperor points and money, he gets both. Or, whenever he takes a six action, he doesn't have to pay. You usually have to pay an extra money to do that. I think, get down in some of these low spaces for free with the Choir Master, but no, he's going to go for the boot black. Emperor points and money. Now let's see if he can make use of it. He is just, oh, he has just served a, a blue customer. So he went in a room, that's four points. One, two, three, four. He's just served a blue customer that wanted three or more things, so he's going to flip his apprentice to gain three strudel, three cake. And now, two cake and one strudel is going on here. He is going to serve... Yes, he's serving the customer. Can't go out into the ballroom because he's got no champagne. So it's going to have to be... Yeah, just a red room, because that's all he's got available. Uh, but that is his fourth green customer, so he's going to claim those 15 points. Even if I do that, I'm only going to get uh, 10. He gets two on the Emperor track, and he gets to put a staff member into his hand. And that's going to be... Ooh, the Danube Steamship Captain. When you play a staff member, put a dancer out with a one champagne discount. Big turn there from Marty. Do I want a new customer? They're so expensive. Oh, some of the ones wine is more doable. But then put someone out at their usual champagne cost. That would be my last two money. But I do have the strudel, but I don't have the money to get the strudel out. Do you know what? I'm going to pass. I don't want the customer or the die. Marty 
is going to take a customer and would love to take a two die, really. Because that would give him a free room and a point. Whenever he takes a four, he gets both. <gasps> oh, do you know what? He is going to go four. Can't take the colored die, but strength two. Two on here and two money. And he can choose to lose two Emperor points. That is going to be two points now, though. We're about to score this. But he could put a staff member out if he wanted to. He's only got two money. So three discount. He could put out the butler. Blue rooms are free for the rest of the game. I think, no, he's going to stay there and get the points. I passed, so it comes to me now. Need to roll the dice again. And what have we got? We've got a lot of sixes. Okay, there's my choice. I can pay. Six is basically any action, but you use the strength of the six action. I want someone in the ballroom before they score. I've got loads of strudel. I've got yellow. Oh, I don't need a room if I'm sending her out to the... But I get the champagne from serving her. But I could serve her first, put her in a room, and then serve the counsellor. Yes. One. Money. So I've got the things in my chambers here. I'm going to go for the blue. I'm going to grab Picasso for a point. Whenever I gain champagne, I get a point and something else. I can have two money or two emperor movements. For the moment, I've got no money. I think I'm going to take two money. I'm going to pay a money. Oh, I need to, put to take the money. Or at least I need to take one money. I'm going to put the strudel and the cake out. I am going to put the debutantes in a room. Or actually, these rooms are going to be worth more at the end of the game. The higher floor they're on, the more points they're going to be worth at the end if they're filled. Uh, so yes, no points, but gives me a champagne. When I get a champagne, I get a point and another resource. And then my privy counsellor is not going into a room. He is going to pay a champagne. Yeah, might as well do this group. To pop him out in this ballroom, because then we're tied and we share the points for this row at least. I get a money and an emperor movement. Oh, and I need a resource. I'll take coffee. That's a little bit harder to get for my bonus from Picasso. I think that's it. I can gain my strudel for the round. It just keeps building up. Now here's my three strudel for that. Oh, I could have saved him money, couldn't I? I got the strudel from that and then got my bonus putting the cake on him. Oh, well, too late now. The emperor is coming. So we need to... Uh, lose our celebrities. Score points. Marty gets eight. I get five. Then we get moved back three. We're both in the benefit zone, so we get two champagne each. And that's that. We need to see... Let's see, Gandhi's worth four points. Churchill's now worth two. And a new celebrity is going to be Einstein. Uh, change a cube into another color four times. Yeah, any time during this round, but only once you get to exchange up to four standard non-champagne things into four other non-champagne things. Oh, and I would have lost five points for not being in here, so even better. Scoring the ballroom, each row, whoever has the most gets seven. So I'm not here, so Marty gets seven and I get nothing. And then here we tie, so nine divided by two round rounded down is four each. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're ready for round four now, I think. Marty gets first pick. There's a lot of um, wine and other stuff on offer. We've just gained some champagne, haven't we? Yeah, he's going to go four. Could be one of each, or he could spend the money to have an extra wine. He wants the wine guest first, yes. And then he's going to have one of each, not pay extra. The wine is going to go straight on the ambassador. She's going to get sent out into the ballroom for one champagne in this space. So we're tied in here now. That's a point for Marty. And her bonus is put someone else out in the ballroom for their cost. Uh, so this is his last one. Three rooms come in. He's going to prepare one here. And to try and save the most money, he'll put another red up here. That's for his bonus for empty in that practice room. And he can pay two. And he'd get a cake, or get to flip a room for free. <gasps> yes, two champagne. He's going to flip a room for free. Oh, before any of this, he would like to have paid two points 
to put out stuff for a three discount. He'll go for each set of rooms at the end scores four points, each set of filled rooms. So he pays one for that. The reason I remember to do that for him is he gets to flip a room now, maximum third floor, as if he'd put a guest in it. He's completed a size three section here. So he's going to get six points on the Emperor track. That's max. For going over, you do earn points for every step over that. But now he's got leeway to spend some next time, I think, maybe. I am going to pass. I'm not happy with these dice. Marty's just got one money. Let's see. If he took resources again, he could pay to boost this and take one of everything again. He wouldn't get to put his customer out. Or if he takes four, though, he's going to take four, not pay for the special die, because... He can have one, two, three extra movement. Oh, he'll pay one to boost it. Four extra movement is four points because he's at the top. And he gets four money because he gets both. Oh, would he have taken a... He would surely have taken a free customer that only wanted a coffee because he could serve them now. He's not got a blue room. So maybe he would pay one. Oh, he wouldn't have had one money though. He could just not serve them right now. Just have them hanging around in the cafe. Uh, for me, I get my two actions now. So one die goes away. Oh, Marty got a total of six and should be able to play a staff card for one discount. He's not got that much money. What about whenever he takes a five action, he gets two Emperor points? So many staff cards that only cost him one. They're staying split up quite nicely. I'm passing again. Uh-oh. Okay, here's my choice. What do I want? I can get a load of cake and strudel and a champagne then. Maybe that wouldn't be too bad. I've got... See, I don't want strudel at all, but it's what the people want. I'll take a free customer. I can't drag anyone into here. Do you know what would be nice? Let's boost this with a with the money. I'm not going to take any of the special powers because I can't afford. So I've got a, a power of four, which gets me. I can have two strudel, one cake, one champagne. Strudel can go onto this customer. And then my second action, I'm going to just prepare a room so this celebrity is free. Einstein is going to help me out. Oh, I want a customer as well. I've got one money. Now I'll go for a free... <laughs> Ten points! Wow. Have I got a blue room? He could go out into the ballroom, though. Because I'm going to use Einstein's ability, right? Swap four things. I'm going to turn... Oh, I'm going to gain a strudel from there. And then I'm going to turn four strudel into three coffee and a cake. And because they're coming from the supply, they can go straight on the customers. And I don't have to pay to get them out of my cafe. Oh, and the action is prepare a room. I'll prepare a free red room down here. Oh, I need to put two more people in rooms. Oh, this could work out okay. I'm going to then, let's see, put him out in the ballroom. I can play a staff for a three discount. I'm going to play this one that would have only cost two, so it's a bit of a waste. But lets me flip two rooms. I'm going to flip these two rooms. That's a great big red group. Four size group is 10 money from one. So brilliant. Which ballroom is he going into? I think let's take the only one champagne space left uh, in this ballroom. Uh, and that gave me a resource which I don't particularly need right now. I think champagne and money is going to come in handy. So let's go in there just for one. Then Earl is free. Or oh, he's satisfied. He's going to get me a money. And I've got no blue rooms free, so he's going to have to go into the ballroom. I can go in here. This ballroom isn't going to score again, though. It is a cheap way of just getting them out. But I think let's pay two and go into a better spot, even though I do want this practice room empty so I can get more champagne. Let's go in here and get a cake that I don't necessarily need yet. But that is 10 points. The Earl is very generous or very prestigious. So that is it for the turn. Einstein goes away. Um, Gandhi was already at four points and no one took him, so he's discarded. Uh, Churchill becomes worth four. And new celebrities, we have Marie Curie, uh, who when you play a staff card, you can take two standard resources of your choice. 
So two non-champagne things. Uh, and Agatha Christie, when you gain an Emperor point, you can play a staff card for a two discount. Okay, let's go for one money for the opera singer. I have a red room available. No champagne anymore, unfortunately. Then, she wants a lot of things. I've got some of those things. I want the blue die and to play a staff member. So there we go. Turn that into a five, thanks to my hotel's ability. And that's going to cost me one money to take the special die. I get a two discount on a staff card. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. The tapster. Yes. So when I serve a yellow customer that wants three or more things, hello, uh, I get six money, just a one off. And then I bought the blue die. So I have Marie Curie. When I play a staff member, I can grab any two things. Well, I will grab wine. I can have my free strudel from my staff card, and then I can pay one to bring a cake out from here. So she, I haven't got any champagne, so she'll have to go in a room. Luckily, that's the only room I've got available right now. She's worth four points. I can have any customer. I'll have the customer that will gain me a champagne and three emperor points which is going to come in handy because we're about to get put back five for this scoring and i just served a yellow customer that wanted three or more things i get six money and all money is points at the end if you still got them marty does he want a customer he's got a lot of customers he's got three money and not a lot of rooms available probably what he's gonna to have to be doing isn't it playing staff members at discounts is nice what are the chances of getting this couple out He's going to take the free customer, why not? Is he? His staff card's out of discount. No, he doesn't want a one of these customers. So then, action. He's going to go for rooms because he needs them. He's going to pay for the celebrity, though. So that's going to cost him one. He can put two rooms out. They're both going to have to be up here because he's only got two money to pay. Maybe he can complete this section, though. It's unlikely. But now he has four points from Churchill, and he'll get an extra Emperor point if he gains one. Back to me, and do I want a customer? No, I'm not so excited about it. Although I have got loads of money. I want to put out some scoring, two points for every dancer. Put them out and get them a bit cheaper. Or just someone that wants a coffee. It's nice. I want rooms, really, more than anything. My turn, I pass. Marty. Wants there to be more fours available. Are there going to be? And even if there are, am I going to take them away? He's going to risk it. He's going to pass. I don't know what he's planning, of course. So what have we got now? It's worse for Marty, isn't it? He can keep trying to pass. Oh, we should have one die removed. Let's say it was that one. <laughs> the last one I organised. Uh, so ones, twos, four, five, six. I could boost the strength. That's... There's no point getting the celebrity, although it's a point. Wine, coffee. Ooh, ooh. I could pay one to boost the strength of this, have a wine, coffee, and a champagne, and then wine, coffee, pay a money to get the strudel, and then there's no room for her, but she can go out into the ballroom with one champagne. The only space on the board for one champagne now. This ballroom's already scored, though, unfortunately for me. She gains me a champagne back, and she is worth seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which I don't think is too bad. I am completely ignoring these objectives, though, aren't I? Marty's closer. Marty's got nine rooms somehow. I thought I'd been building rooms. Marty's going to pass and hope that a couple of fours can at least group together a little bit. So you got there? One, one, two, four, six. No, I think he missed his chance. I think two was a good shout. He'll keep trying. Hope that something groups up a bit. There we go. At least he's got he's got two fours again. Should he? He's got no money, so he can't buy uh, Agatha Christie. So he will take the white die. It's got power two, just like it would have had before. Uh, he's got sevens, which oh, if he takes seven, he doesn't get a bonus. That's just tough. Uh, he gets two Emperor points, which is two points, and two money. And whenever he gains Emperor points, thanks to Churchill, he gets an extra one, which is an extra point. So, end of the round. 
We lose our celebs and emperor time. Oh no. Okay, well, this might hurt me. I'm still going to get five points to Marty's nine. But we slide back five. Um, yep. I get nothing. Marty gets to prepare a room, maximum second floor, for free. Uh, well, the only one that he can do on the second floor is yellow. So he'll do that. At least I don't get punished. Oh, no, that's, that's add a closed room. That's add a... Okay, well, that's, that's all right, then. It's two points, isn't it? Okay, then, so for round five, here's what we've got. Um, Puccini's back again. Two points and a champagne for playing a staff card. And we've got Charlie Chaplin, the last new celebrity. Uh, whenever you gain a point, at least a point from somewhere, get two extra points. Marty desperately needs some money. He is pretty stuck. He's got a blue customer that could be served. He could pick up this Knight of the Empire, but he hasn't got blue rooms. He can make blue rooms free, though, can't he? He's got two money. He's going to pass. Oh, no, he's going to... He's going to grab this customer, and he's going to make sure he stays in first place. He's going to take... See, first he's going to pay two points, and his remaining two money to get this out. Blue rooms are just free for him. Then he can take any action with power one, and then any resource. He'll take action four, so gain an emperor point and a money. And then he will gain himself a cake. Why not? Then... Over to me. So I'm going to be in second place for the final round, unfortunately. I'm not particularly excited about any of this. I would like Puccini's ability, and I've got loads of money. I need more rooms. I need more customers. Well, let's take the prince. I need blue rooms, but that can be arranged. So he's going to cost me one. Then, what do I need? I want rooms. I think I'm not going to have the... Colored dice, I'm just going to go here. 3-3. Three, three. So that's strength 2. Boost it by 1. Strength 3. I can put 3 rooms out. I'm going to go for... Red... Blue, blue. Up at the top. That's going to get me 2, 4, 6 points. But it's going to cost me 9 money. I'm right back down here. I am on 75 now. I can serve the prince. And I would get to flip another room. Let's wait, I can do them all at once. Marty's second action, he is going to pass. He wants to build rooms, but he wants to build more than that. Though he has got a money, he could take a six action. Strength three, do three rooms. But he wants a money spare after that. No, he's not going to do it. I'm going to pass as well. So one die goes away. Marty's going to get first pick. And here's that pick. What does he want? He just wants multiple threes to come out. Not what he wanted. Is he going to pass again? He is. He's going to pass. Do I want these? What did I want? I think I was just waiting. Waiting to see for no particular reason. I do want more champagne. I could get a champagne for playing a staff card. It's just kind of expensive. I'd basically have to pay one for the die. And then I would get a two discount. But I have to pay one for taking the action in the first place. So And my staff cards left are really expensive. So I can't do that. I'm going to pass. Let's hope that something bunches up and we get a good shot. Although, you know, the, the dice are disappearing. It's less and less likely. So, for Marty, no threes still. Is he going to give up? No, he's, he's going to pass once more. For me, I could now do the five action. And that would let me... So it would cost me two... To get the die, which would mean I would have one. No, they're still too expensive. I could just not have the die and put this out for two money. Because that is going to be worth two, four, six, eight, ten points at the end. Yeah, let's do that. Two money. Just take the standard die. And then I've got some endgame points at last. Marty's passing again. Just wants a couple of threes. Well, I think that wasn't the three threes together already. Here we go, though. Maybe it's worth waiting to get a load of resources, including champagne. He could get his cakes person as well, and he's got red rooms. Brilliant. So he's got strength four. He's got a money, so he's going to do strength five. 
But that still just means he can do 3-2-1, right? Oh, 2-2-1. Two, two, it's 5. Yeah, that's the only... Yeah, 2-2-1. Two, two, so he's got a champagne now. He's going to put the cake straight on the senior secretary there and one of the strudel. The other strudel is not needed. But this customer can go straight in a room and grab the bonus of three money and a wine, which can go straight on the count and get uh, seven points. His total on the dice is one. So again, doesn't get a bonus. So I'm not sure if that was worth it. Okay, so drinks are quite available right now. Marty's first, though. He's got the money to boost it. He could have two of each and uh, champagne again. Yeah, he's going to grab this knight. He's, not, he, he's got red rooms. And this conciliary will give him some money back. But he's got to find those cakes. He wants two red customers served, basically, to get a load of money. Pay one. He's going to boost this action for one, so it's power three. And pay for the power, why not? He'll get chaplain. For two money. For two points, so the strudel and the cake can go into the... Uh, the strudel and the champagne go into the stores. The cake can go straight on him. And then he can pay a money to do cake, wine, go into a room, needs one more. And then that's going to be two money back and a champagne. Oh, and when he was... He brought two things out, didn't he? He'll bring a third out. All in the same additional action, he can do that. Four points, plus two for Charlie Chaplin. One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets a guest. Then he can send the dame to the ball. He will pay two champagne. Bring this one out to go in here. Yes. And flip any room. Flip this room. That's a group of four done. That's ten money. And now he's got some choice. He didn't gain points from that, so he doesn't gain more from Chaplin, unfortunately. But he does get to gain a guest for free. He's not bothered about it being another red now. Someone that can give him a load of... money. But... He's got a champagne. He hasn't got a yellow room, though. He's got a red room. Maybe this one, it's five points if he does manage to serve that customer. Over to me, a lot of drink available. And again, it would be two of each and one champagne. I'm going to grab a blue customer. I'm going to activate my strudel partner. Strudel out. I don't think I did that last round. It's too late now. Uh, then, yeah, let's, let's do this. Oh, ooh, this could be okay. I want green customers, don't I? It's a bit late for that objective. I'm going to have two wine, one coffee, one champagne. Not boost the action. Champagne in there, coffee on him. And then I'm going to pay one, my only money, to take things out of my stores. And let's send them out. So the, the knight is going into this blue room up here. And get me three points. One, two, three. And then the prince is going up here and his special power to let me flip any room. I'm going to flip this one. He's worth seven. Put me on 85. But then I have finally done an objective. Three filled rooms on the top floor. 15 points. In terms of total rooms, I've got 10. Marty's got 11. He really wanted to get rooms last time as well, didn't he? He's really hoping for it. Oh, this is round seven, isn't it? It's the big seven. Marty wants rooms. He's passing. I... Or does he just take that one? He hasn't got the coffee to serve a customer, though, and fill it up. It could be a five-point swing if he gets there first. Marty's going to pass. He's got a hope. He wants to get in there first on the rooms, and maybe that's just what I'm going to do. I've got no money. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to do one more room. I need a free room from somewhere, and that's not... That's not coming up. I do have champagne. Maybe I could serve... The lady companion, but no. I'm going to have to wait, I think. And just hope something comes out of nowhere. I can get a strudel. I'm pretty sure I haven't used that this round. But maybe I just I just did with all of my blues. I think that was my first action, wasn't it? I spent a lot of time just thinking about <laughs> Marty's turn. We're going to pass them. 
Marty ideally needs a way of getting one room and three emperor points. I don't know if that's possible in one action. I think his chance of doing it might have gone out of the window. Okay, he can take this action. This is what he was going to do last time, but I was hoping something better might occur to me. Uh, take the one. The power is two. He gets a free room and a point. Unfortunately, he can only get food. And the wine went on the counter. It didn't go in the kitchen. So I think the best he can do is... Here we go. Here's Mr. Boydell to the rescue. That's two money. To grab the... Obviously, yeah, get the, quest, get the guest card first. Oh, E. Geezer is taking extra action. Maybe a bit late. Um... So with the power of two, it's a curious thing. He can take a strudel and a cake, which is exactly what Mr. Boydell needs. Pop him. Oh, we need a new room. It might as well be on the top floor. Since it's a free room. Go in there for some points. And. And what? He gets two emperor movement. Yeah. He gets two points plus another two for chaplain. When he gained his uh, point for his free room, he should have gained an extra two points because that's a different source for Chaplin. Uh, I think that's it for Marty. Oh, that, that was the other thing. Yes, he claims he's got 12 rooms, open or closed. And as for me, I've just noticed the punishment that I am surely getting, because I've done nothing for the Emperor in the last several rounds, is lose all of my money and resources. Usually it's all worth a point each. So I better get it spent if I can. Is there someone that wants a lot of wine? I've got no money though. Sending someone out to the ball, I can do. Leaving myself with no money was a terrible idea. Because I can't even get strudel and coffee to serve her. Oh, I've got a room on the bottom though. So I can, with my turn, all I'm going to do then, I'm going to lose all this champagne. All I'm going to do then is put my final free room out. It's not going to have anyone in it. But I have now got 12 rooms. So I'm on there. I served one green customer the entire game. <laughs> just wasn't getting them. Although this couple were waiting to be served for so long. Just were never invited into a restaurant. So, Emperor scoring at the end. Six for Marty, two for me. And then we both get... I get brought down here. Marty gets brought down to neutral. Doesn't get the reward of five points per objective that he's done. But I get the punishment of lose all my money. There is none. But all of my resources. And then... Oh, we never scored this, did we? I don't think I got in here afterwards. I'll have to check this. I think I got 10 and Marty got 3. Subtitle, we never did that at the time. But now here, Marty's got 2 in here and I've got 1. So he gets 4 points, I get 1. I get 2 points for every dancer I have out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 points. 33. Marty gets a point for every set. Do you know what? It would have been better for Marty. If he'd have picked a blue room, it would have been further down, so one fewer point. But it was a green customer, the last one that he served. Could have gone in there, because then it's another set. So he's done three sets of filled rooms. Uh, so that's 12 points, and that's his only endgame card that he bought. But I think his money's just going to carry him through this. Uh, so points for occupied rooms. Oh, I might pull ahead in this a bit. So occupied rooms here are worth a point each. One, two, three, four. Two points here. Six, eight. Three here, 11, and four here, 15, 19, 23. So 56. Marty, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 18. Come on. I know it's not 47 really, it's plus 75, but you know. Strange score tracks. Then a point for every leftover thing you have. Marty, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Teen. Not on your customers. So 10, 16. Minus five. Oh wow. I forgot the the severity of the punishment. Oh it's displeasing those guests that has knocked Marty, Marty back. So maybe just getting a drink and serving this customer instead, but he only had one champagne. He couldn't have put him anywhere. He didn't have a room for him to go in. That's why he was so stuck at the end. But there we go. That is a very close game. What is that? A hundred and... 
28 for Marty versus 131 for me. Very close game of Grand Austria Hotel. Let's waltz with all of the expansion modules. You can just play the modules individually. The rulebook encourages you to play with them individually first and maybe don't mix the ballrooms and the celebrities. You can, but it makes it much more complex and longer. But hey, there is all of it turned on. If you'd like to know what I think about the game in general, the expansion, the deluxe stuff, then there'll be a link to that very, very shortly. Or it's in the description now. If you'd like to help me keep making more of these things and let me spend uh, all days agonizing over decisions in playthroughs, then uh, patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips is how you can help me keep doing that. Thank you very much for watching this, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. <laughs>